Hi guys and girls, I'm Reef Men, and today I wanted to tell you about vodka dosing. Vodka dosing is a way to add an organic carbon source to your tank in order to reduce nitrates and phosphates. Reducing these two chemicals can help reduce allergy, can help brighten your coral's coloration, and can help make your water clearer. Longer term use though, your water might take on a yellowish tinge. If you notice this, you can get rid of it with carbon or with a, so a granulated carbon, not, not more vodka, uh, or a ozone reactor. You could also dose sugar to your tank, but being a powder, it's a little bit harder to measure and auto dose. You can use vinegar, but that can reduce your pH. And for these reasons, I've chose to use vodka in my tank. Vodka is a mixture of water and ethanol, usually about 40% ethanol or 80 proof vodka. You don't wanna use gin or whiskey or something like that because those have additional things added for flavor. You don't want to use a uh, you know, whiskey that's been in an oak barrel because then you're gonna get tannins and things from the oak that you just don't need in your tank for this. Dosing any organic carbon source increases the amount of bacteria in your tank. That can cause trouble if you overdo it because that bacteria needs oxygen to grow. And if you notice your water getting cloudy, that's a sure sign that your oxygen level, your O2 in your tank is on the decline. That can lead to your fish suffocating and really wiping out your entire tank. Another thing you need to keep in mind, with any organic carbon source, you need to make sure that you have a good skimmer. You're going to notice that your skimmer is pulling more stuff out of your tank, and you're going to notice that the stuff that it pulls out is darker and smellier than it would otherwise be. That's because all this additional bacteria that's taking up the nitrates and phosphates needs to be exported somehow. And the most efficient way to do that in our tanks is of course a protein skimmer. The first step to vodka dosing is to measure your nitrate and phosphate levels. You can use any test kit for this. I actually went out and bought cheap ones because you're gonna have to test it several times before you figure out what your final dosage is going to be. The second step is to calculate your total water volume. There's a link down below to a calculator that I used to calculate my tank's total water volume, which turned out to be about 288 gallons. Once you know what your total tank volume is, you can calculate your initial vodka dose. The initial dose, dosed for three days, is 0.1 milliliter per 25 gallons of tank water. You dose that for three days, and then you double it to 0.2 milliliters per 25 gallons of tank water for the rest of the week. At the end of the first week, you add 0.5 milliliters of vodka to every 25 gallons of water that you have. And you do this every week until you notice your nitrate and phosphate levels begin to drop. It might take a couple weeks of addition, of adding uh, you know, half a milliliter per 25 gallons of vodka to be able to notice this decrease. But once you do, stop adding it and just maintain that amount. After a couple weeks of watching your nitrate and phosphate levels fall, you're going to find that they're undetectable on your test kits, specifically nitrate. I find that vodka reduces nitrate a lot faster and more than it reduces phosphate. And so my nitrates were undetectable before my phosphates were. At this point, you're done figuring out how much vodka you need to add to your tank. You half the dose. So, you know, if you're dosing 10 milliliters, your final dose is gonna be five milliliters. And that's the dose you're gonna dose every day until you're done. Because it is important to consistently dose a known amount of vodka at this point, I would recommend using a dosing pump. I use the Bulk Reef Supply dosing pump that is uh, easy to get and doses 1.1 milliliters per minute. These pumps are not super accurate, so I would recommend measuring the amount that comes out over, say, a 10 minute period, and then divide it out and figure out how much your exact dosing pump is going to dose. Another thing to keep in mind Dosing pumps use a very small amount of current. Because of that, you need to make sure that they're on a relay pump or a relay plug. If you have an apex like I do, and you plug it into a triac pump or plug instead, you're going to find that when your apex goes to turn off your dosing pump, it doesn't actually turn off. That will be a problem, you'll overdose your tank. So make sure you pick out the relay, relay outlets in your tank and use those for low current things like dosing pumps. On mine, I think they're seven, uh, seven and eight. There are just a couple things to watch out for when you're dosing vodka. While you're increasing the amount of vodka that you add, if your tank ever ends up being cloudy, back off the amount and don't add any more until the cloudiness goes away. That means if you're dosing, uh, you know, you just increased it, 
don't increase it anymore, decrease it a little bit, and then stay with that dose until the cloudiness goes away. If you overdose your tank, you can kill everything in it. So be very careful that you don't overdose your tank. Go very slowly when you're getting started on vodka. Another thing to watch out for, if you have SPS coral in your tank and you have a high alkalinity, vodka can lead to something called burnt tips on your SPS. Your, your tips of your SPS where they're growing, they are usually blue or green or whatever color, will end up being white if you're, uh, well, can end up being white if you are dosing vodka and you have a particularly high alkalinity. If you lower your alkalinity, they'll usually recover though, so it's not a long-term problem. I hope this was interesting. Let me know if you have any comments or questions. I'm happy to help you figure out the right amount of vodka to dose for your tank. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next week.